me tell you something very interesting. When Allah chose to favor entire humanity, He actually blessed us with a Nabi, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when Allah chose you and I to be from the Ummah of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He favored us. We will be entering Jannah by the will of Allah, by the mercy of Allah, and by the intercession of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My messenger has told me that I will recognize you on the day of judgment by the shine on the places that you used to wash when you used to make wudu so many times a day. The place will shine and I will recognize my ummah and I will tell Allah, Oh Allah, this person is from me and my ummah. Let them come here. Subhanallah. Isn't it soothing? He speaks about his intercession for those who've committed sins so that Allah will forgive them. This person is from my ummah. For as long as you tried and keep seeking the forgiveness of Allah, I have a lot of hope. Allah says we sent him as a mercy, not just to mankind, but to all creatures. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ O Messenger, we have not sent you except as a means of mercy for Al Alameen. We sent you as a means of mercy for Al Alameen. He came in and taught us to be merciful to animals, to be merciful to other creatures. If Allah taught me to be merciful towards a dog, then what do you think Allah would have taught regarding other human beings? At times of war, we were taught. Be careful how you treat the prisoners of war. Be careful who you fight. The elderly, the women, the disabled, the places of worship. All these are no-go areas even though you are in a war. Today they claim to be very advanced. Wallahi, today we are more barbaric than anything that happened at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Look at the treatment of those who go to prison anywhere in the world. Look at how they are treated. If you know you will tell yourself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have the greatest of teachers. Here is the messenger. He tells us even a prisoner of war should be treated with utmost dignity and respect. Today we penalize, punish and torture in the most advanced world, according to the world. The, the type of torture that is served to those who are perhaps held in any prison is something that is totally unacceptable by any standards. And then we blame Islam. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, be careful how you treat them. Watch out. Treat them fairly. Respect. Offer them food, clothing, drink, dignity. Let them relieve themselves in the correct way. Give them honor. Allahu Akbar. That's why a lot of them turned to Islam. They saw Wow, this is a faith. To this day, in many countries, people go to the prisons. At times, if they're introduced to Islam, it gives them an opportunity to interact with this for the first time. They come out and they're Muslims, especially in the Western world. They come out and they're Muslim because they finally were introduced to something that they discovered when they were in their solitude and so on. Here is the messenger. Look at how he treated them. Look at what he said about women. Imagine people say, oh, oppressing women, oppressing women. When the statement, the Prophet Muhammad says, the best of you are those who are best to their women. Didn't he say that? Where is that teaching? Show me anyone of the books that exist on earth that has the teaching, the best of mankind are those who are the best to their women. Allahu Akbar. It's not there. It's only my Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.